What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. I know it's been a little bit of a while, but I'm back here and I'm excited because we have a lot of updates. Uh, today I'm going to be catching you up to speed with what's going on with Donald J. Trump. We have some breaking news, so please thumbs up the video to help boost it to more people. I, uh, like I said, I've taken a little time off. Um, I got a lot of comments from you guys. I'm doing well. I honestly just needed a little break. And um, sometimes it's nice to take a little break, but I've been praying for you all. So before we jump in, we're gonna pray. We're gonna read from the Bible. This comes from one of my favorite Bible verses. So you can close your eyes and listen if you'd like. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Straight. That's Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Can I get an amen? Um, okay, so some very interesting news. Uh, wanted to discuss Joe Biden and Donald J. Trump just tied in one of the latest polls ahead of the 2024 election. We're gonna jump into that. We're gonna be jumping into a uh, potential look uh, at what's going on with Donald Trump and, and uh, the, these felonies that he's accused of, what's taking place there, a few of the possible outcomes. Trump is facing 78 felony charges. We're gonna be discussing that because I think it's important. We're gonna talk about what Donald Trump's saying in response to that. And we even have a little bit of an update with Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSanctimonious, on his updates with that. So, uh, latest polls, Donald J. Trump and Joe Biden uh, are tied in the battleground state of Michigan, according to an Emerson College poll released Friday. Biden and Trump each garnered 44, yeah, those indictment charges are really doing great for, for you guys. All those Democrats out there rooting, hooting, and hollering. Yeah, Joe. Oh, 641 years in prison. Oh, yeah. It's like you, he's still tied. Like in this latest poll, Joe Biden and Trump are basically tied. Which means all the Democrats who are voting for, for Biden matches up with all the Republicans voting for Donald John Trump. Biden and Trump each garnered 44% from Mitt. Again, this is just in Michigan, okay? 8% said they would vote for someone else. 5% said they are undecided. However, the polls found that when Green Party candidate Cornell West was added to the, to the ballot, Trump led with 43% and Joe Biden only came in at 41%. All the way down. So Trump all the way up here at 43% and Joe Biden, fall the finger down, fall the finger down, fall the finger down, 41%. West garnered 4% support. Don't know who this guy is. Cornell West, a Green Party candidate. Very interesting. I always wondered why people like go and try to jump in these new part, I mean, these like wild different parties. Like I don't really see, unless they're like extremely popular, I don't really see them, you know, winning, running from a different party. Uh, what's his name? the uh, Kennedy guy, Robert Robert F. Kennedy, I thought maybe he was going to run in a different party because, um, you know, I, from my understanding, he's pretty much moderate. Um, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I, Like I said, I'm still, still catching up on a lot of these, this news here from my break. So um, I know a lot. Let me know what you guys think of Robert F. Kennedy because um, I, I've seen some really interesting things about him and um, you know, I kind of like the guy and he's running as a Democrat. Um, and, uh, but I know JFK, he was a moderate, right? So he was kind of more so in the middle. Um, what'll be really interesting to see is if he's running as a Democrat, is that going to split up the votes with, from Joe Biden, you know, is, is Robert F. Kennedy's votes going to come from people who were originally going to vote for Joe Biden? I don't think so. I think potentially it's actually going to take votes probably from people who are going to vote for for a Republican candidate. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Former Vice President Mike Pence. Oh, sorry. 
Within their respective primary fields, Biden and Trump dominated. On the Republican side, 61% said they plan to support Trump. Well, 13% said the same about Ron DeSantis. So in Michigan, Trump is still, you know, for, I've taken like two months off of making videos, almost three months. And the well, last time I was making videos, Trump was like really in the lead among the Republicans. And still, I mean, now it's even more after all, all this stuff that's going on. Now in Michigan, Trump, 61% among Republicans. So Republicans, in my understanding, they're not losing faith in Donald J. Trump. If anything, they actually want him to be their candidate even more now. So it's kind of, it seems like all this stuff's a little bit backfiring on, um, you know, all this, all this, all these indictment charges and these, these classified documents. I mean, even Joe Biden, they found classified documents from him. So it's like the stuff they're using against Donald John Trump, it's like you could, some of the stuff, some of the stuff, right? Some of the stuff, not everything, but well, mostly not everything, but some of the stuff, um, you, they found classified documents from P Pence, I believe, and, um, and Joe Biden as well, right? Pence, P D DOJ closes Pence classified documents, uh, no charges against Pence. Sh big shocker. So um, uh, let's see, Mike Pence came in with 7%. Vivek Ramaswamy garnered 4%. I don't trust Vivek Ramaswamy. I'm just going to say this out loud. I've been uh, reading some stuff about all of his uh, biotech and uh, pharmacy stuff. I don't know. I just, something about him. I just, I don't know. I, I, may, I don't know too much about him either, but something about, about me just, I got that gut feeling. You know, again, I'm just a dude sitting in his living room, so you can totally disagree with me. But uh, Nikki Haley only got 3%. Uh, the Democratic side, 65% of Michigan Democratic primary voters said they'd support Joe Biden. 11% said they would vote Robert F. Kennedy. Wow. So Robert F. Kennedy's actually getting 11%. So Robert F. Kennedy's kind of lining up with Ron DeSantis on their Democratic side. You know, if you think about it that way, like you got Trump and Biden up here, and then you got Ron DeSantis and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. here. So it's like, they're kind of the, the rec Senate second runners up. The poll also showed Biden with a 43% job approval rating and a 50% disapproval rating. Doesn't add up to 100%, so I'm a little confused there. Um, there's an article that came out. Uh, how much prison time could Donald J. Trump get? It's complicated. 641 years behind bars? No, but Trump's risk of prison is real. Yeah, they might put him in prison, guys. Of the more than six dozen felonies that Trump is accused of, many often result in harsh sentences. Which, by the way, is absolutely crazy to think that Donald John Trump, you know, this guy's out and about. I just saw him. He was at a UFC fight. I watched the... I don't think he was there last night, but... Um, you know, he's out there, he's like, he walks into that stadium and everybody stands, uh, cheers for him. There was even one guy who, uh, I believe it was like in the middle of his fight, uh, he jumped the octagon and went and shook his hand, shook Trump's hand. I mean, you got Trump like out here hanging out with people and people love him. Um, it, it almost reminds, I don't want to like compare him to Obama because... I know a lot of you guys will get offended by that, but it kind of reminds me of when Obama would go out into these, you know, inner city neighborhoods and play basketball with, with kids. And you can't deny that that's, that's just an, an awesome thing, right? Whether you like Obama or not, him going out and playing basketball with, with kids, um, you know, everyday kids in the neighborhood, it's a pretty cool thing for a president to do. Um, and Donald J. Trump going out to these fights, hanging out with guys, um, and, you know, it's, it's just a cool thing. But to think about that this guy, I mean, not that that proves him innocent or anything, <laughs> but it's just, it's just interesting because he's running for president, he's a former president, he's out and about doing his whole thing, and then at any moment, it's like Trump could 
Trump is facing 78 felony charges among three criminal cases. Like they're going after him from like three different angles, three different ma 78 major angles, but three criminal cases, many of them carrying the p potential for hefty prison time. If Trump were convicted on all counts and given the maximum statutory penalty for each one, he would face a whopping 641 years in prison. And that's not counting additional criminal charges he may face in Georgia, uh, where the district attorney in Fulton County may be on the verge of indicting him this month. Now, let me tell you one quick story, my friends. I know somebody, um, actually, personally, this is an extremely horrible story, but it's going to give you guys some crazy perspective on this whole thing. I don't talk to this person anymore, but I used to be friends with, I'm going to try to be so vague so you guys can't figure it this out but I used to be friends with somebody who this person um, uh, used drugs or, or used substances right I, I, I don't I don't want to say too many details but this person was driving a vehicle under the influence and they um, they drifted off into the other side hit somebody with a car and the other person didn't make it, right? Extremely sad story. This happened uh, five, six, seven years ago. Uh, now, um, I found out about this a few years after because again, I stopped talking to this person. I, I figure, I, you know, sometimes you look people up. You go, oh, what, what does this person went up to? And I go, what the heck happened? This person DUI. The they went to prison. Um, and for involuntary manslaughter, basically, because, you know, it wasn't on purpose, but at the same time, this person did, uh, somebody did die because of this person. And they went to jail, I believe, I believe their, their sentence was like 10 years or something, or maybe it was only six, but I'm, but this person got out after three years, I believe, three, four years. I, they got out way early. And it's like, by the way, I don't want to like point any fingers, but like, I know this person's very liberal. <laughs> like, um, I don't know what the deal was or how the heck they got out so early because you know, that person's life is gone now. And then this person's just out and about now living their life like normal. There no, there was no house arrest. This person was out and about working, going on trips, you know, very shortly after getting out of prison. Um, so th I think they were in prison for like three, four, five, maybe six years max, but it wasn't like, I remember thinking like, that's it. And Trump could face a whopping 641 years in prison for like, I mean, I don't know exactly what they're doing. I mean, maybe they're saying that he's at fault of some people dying about, I don't want to get into that whole mess, but. In both, uh, the reality of any prison term that Trump could plausibly receive is far more complicated. In both state and federal courts, judges have wide latitude in sentencing. None of the crimes Trump has been charged with carry a mandatory minimum sentence, and defendants with no prior criminal record, a status that, at least for now, applies to Trump, rarely receive the maximum. And if the 77-year-old former president were convicted of multiple counts within the same case, any sentences for those counts might run simultaneously rather than being stacked on top of each other. Which, by the way, we gotta address the elephant in the room. Trump is 77 years old. If this dude gets, you know, any more than 10 years in prison, you're talking about him going to prison while, you know, when he's 78, 7, 78, 79. I mean, is he really going to live past 90, 89, 90? I mean, he could die in there if, if, even if he's only, you know, in there for 10 years. And that, that would be such a sad, sad outcome of this whole thing. But again, if he's facing 600 years, yeah, I mean, 600 years, he's going to die in there. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so he has 34, 34 counts for falsifying business records. 32 for willful re retention of national secrets, six for obstruction of justice. This is for the classified documents. Holy shnikes. Two for false statements, two for obstructing of official proceedings. So they're actually saying that he could serve these simultaneously. And I guess the max of all of them are this 20 years, but still. 
Um, yeah, this is crazy though, guys. Uh, Trump himself has even touted the threat of a significant prison sentence in, re in recent fundraising emails. With his campaign and a PAC saying in late July, while my primary opponents continue to take cheap swipes at me as the Department of Justice plots ways to throw me in jail for up to 561 years, I am asking you to stand with me at this pivotal moment in the election. So Trump is saying, please still stick with me. Like, please still support me. Trump said that Pence has gone to the dark side. So Trump and Pence are not friends anymore. They, you know, Mike Pence used to be Trump's vice president. And then now he's coming out and he's saying um, Mike Pence is, I mean, he is not, he is not, um, you know, supporting Trump in this time. In reality, he's, this was actually before Pence announced he was running, but He's actually saying, oh, I'm going to vote for somebody else. And he is basically hinting at that he was going to announce. Trump is the Republican nominee for president in 2024. Will you vote for him? Well, there might be somebody else I'd prefer more. <laughs> and of course, he's talking about himself there. They said, oh, Trump's uh, going to run. Are you going to vote for him? Well, there's might, somebody I might prefer more. Woo! He's clapping, you know, clapping like he's hilarious Mike Pence here. I can tell you, I'm, I have every confidence that the Republican Party is going to sort out leadership. All my focus has been on the midterm elections, and it'll stay that way for the next 20 days. But after that, we'll be thinking about the future, ours and the nation's, and uh, I'll keep you posted, okay? Oh, my gosh, Mike Pence. He's a hilarious comedian now. I'll keep you posted. What do they got, like, laughing signs up? Like, when you go to a, a late-night talk show, I don't know if you guys have been to one of these stupid shows, like if you ever go to The View, or if you ever go to Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. They're all the same. They, you got a live studio audience. They flash lights up. They actually have... I, I went to a couple of these shows before. Um, actually, before the show starts, guys, they have a, what's called, like, a hype man comedian come out he comes out and hypes everybody up he goes hey you stand up there he's making fun of people you go hey let's practice cheering let's practice they hold up sign or they not they don't hold up signs anymore but they flash signs digital signs with lights and they go laugh laugh and you're supposed to go ah, ha, 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 ha. or they go cheer ah, ha. or they go or, or they they'll do like um honestly i think it was mostly just laughing and cheering that was like the main thing but yeah, like if you go if you go to any of these late night talk shows, I went to Conan O'Brien. I was actually on TV. Uh, I was just like in a crowd, like I was just in the crowd. <laughs> you could see me though. If you guys really want proof, I can probably find that footage. Um, and yeah, they hold up, they hold up, they blink signs, laugh, laugh. I feel like some of this stuff is like Mike Pence is up here. He's saying, "Well, I'll keep you posted." Ah, <laughs> so funny. It's like. How is that funny at all? I'll keep you posted. Okay, cool. Sounds good. That's a period. That's just literally a random statement. So anyways, that's all the updates with what's going on with uh, Trump and with, um, you know, his charges and him uh, running for president with the polls. So let me know your thoughts on all this. And again, we're going to end one with one more Bible verse to uh, end our day or start our day whenever you're watching this video or continue your day <laughs> to watch this in the afternoon. So again, you can close your eyes one more time and listen. Hmm. <clears throat> Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you all the desires of your heart. One more time. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 31, 4. Can I get an amen? Thank you for watching, my friends. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next video.